I am not the best at shrinking a window like this. Uh, this is the C6 Corvette. This is a very difficult window for a lot of tenors to shrink. It's that cockpit style back window. So if you have problems tinting one of these, uh, you're definitely not alone. Uh, this is a two mil thick ceramic, but this one shrinks really, really well. So hopefully um, we're not going to look too much like a noob on this. We'll go a little bit taller instead of just a 50-50 split. I think that's correct. <laughs> this is always long enough for me to forget exactly how I do it. And then it's like trial and error, and then you're like, oh, that's how I do it. So when you're shrinking something like this, feel free to just take your time, man. You do have a little forgiveness on the sides here. So you got some room, so you could leave a finger or two small and then shrink these out on the inside, get them to lock down. So it's not the end of the world if you have something popping up. But this isn't gonna look a whole lot different than what I normally do. I'm just kind of gently heating it up, letting it lay down a little bit, and then just keep moving to that next spot. I might be psyching myself out because we're already pretty far through this. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Man. This stuff is not slowing down right now. Uh-oh. Oh no, did we just push it down too fast? Yes, we did. Right there, that's not gonna fly. All right, we're gonna keep going a little bit. We're gonna recut this. We just messed it up. See, that's how quick you can mess this stuff up. So what's cool about screwing up, but you have a learning opportunity here. If you generally don't know how to tint the window or you're new to shrinking, Man, and you got some extra time? Keep going. You got so much material that you're just gonna throw away. So you can learn from it. So I wanna see a little bit more what this is gonna do and how much heat I can put on it. So it bunched up, you see that? That's too much, it's way too much heat right there. Okay. Yeah, that, that is when things look horribly wrong. I don't know, now what do we do on the other one? Do we use the fusion heat gun or do we use the Wagner? Cause I mean, we pretty much have a lot more information here. So these spots right here, this is where it got overheated. So right here we press it down too soon. That's what these little creases are. This wrinkly spot, that's a burn. It, it definitely, this is one of the really frustrating parts about tinting um, is when you have something that is, you know, you're every time you're trying it, you're throwing, you're throwing some money away. And that hurts. But that's part of the business. I've had bailouts in my day. But that was working with the mobile company when we had support. Um, most of the time, even working at tin shops, you don't always get, like it's just, you have your job that you specialize in and you gotta make it happen. We'll switch back to the Wagner if we have another problem with this. I like the way this film is looking with more air and, and on this heat gun. It's smoother. It's not as focused. So we're just gonna keep things moving. So yeah, with the dryer sheet uh, or dry shrink prep or soap bar or whatever you use, uh, we're doing a method called dry shrinking. And what that means 
is that we, you put like a medium material, like something in between there. It helps the film kind of grab onto the glass a little bit, but it also helps it float. Just try without doing anything and, and then you'll see. It needs something to kind of like give it a little bit of stick when you're shrinking it, but not, not too much. Somebody needs to create a film to shrink in any direction. <laughs> a stretchy film for the outside. I'm old school, I've been doing this since 1980. You grew up on these cars. I came in a, in a different spot. Um, so like you had more Corvettes. I had this Corvette when I first started, but I didn't get a lot of them. And then I quickly got into some easier cars. So I didn't have it as hard as you did first starting out. So it's been a while. So this is as much as like a refresher course for me in a car like this than, uh, than just getting this done. I appreciate a lot of the feedback. I kind of have in mind what I need to do and it's just, we're just going to take our sweet time with it until it gets done. I like the, uh, I've got a little bit more respect for this heat gun too. This helps like big areas. I just don't want to stress this out too much. Damn little pocket here. Oh no, did we do it again? So that's why I want to be careful on putting too much heat. It seems to freak out. <laughs> it's like almost okay, and then all of a sudden it's not. It's that quick. It's like, it's okay, it's smooth, it's smooth, it's smooth. Oh God, it's not. So I just, I'm really careful on those little, these little spots right here. I'm trying to not work myself into a pickle again. Snap it. It's almost there. The middle's fine. The sides, we'll get there. Just give it some time. Then you remember we gotta install it. This is half this is half the battle here. <laughs> yep. You know I gotta say I wouldn't have tried this heat gun unless I got the suggestion again. And for doing something like this. This is going very gradually, and I don't know, it's smoother. Getting one side too hot, you need to get the other side. Yeah, we're getting a little carried away, but it's working. Use the torch. Use the torch. That's okay. That's good right there. All right, so we got the bottom. Now it's just a matter of getting the top section, right? Then we'll be home free.
What do you think? You think we're gonna make it to the end on this one? Stay tuned. Why is the Fusion heat gun price so high? Uh, I don't know. It is. <laughs> higher quality heat gun, higher quality materials. I don't just it's a very different type of heat gun. I still suggest the Wagner uh, for most situations. Like I love that little heat gun. Uh, for something like this, uh, we used it and I definitely could still I think do it with it. Ever. Neutral face. We're just taking our time with this, and I like the slow, slow and steady right now. Is that? Uh, was there a super chat in there? Oh, there is. Sun distributing. That's the most intense live stream ever. <laughs> Thank you for the vibe. I know, right? It's getting there. I think we just gotta take. Take our sweet time. My fingers are hot. I'm like, I appreciate all you guys being here. Thank you. I'm focused. Do you think $40,000 is enough capital to open up a small local tin shop? Uh, yeah, definitely. It depends on how much you want to do. But just don't, you don't have to overdo it. I'd say 40 is like way over the top, honestly. But so this depends on like, hey, we're going to do floors. We're going to do a showroom. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Um, so that can also go really, really quick. So it depends on how much you're doing, but my suggestion is to try and, and just like do what you can to dress up a space some, but just don't, don't go crazy. You, you'll, you'll work up your clientele gradually as you go. I started the tint studio thing out of my home garage, uh, with very little money. Mostly film, some paint on the walls, and then we went, we went from there. Some pretty LED lights. Oh wait, no, those are here. Those weren't there. Careful overheating the glass. Yeah, I probably should be. Seems like we're okay though. Nothing catastrophic's happened yet. Knock on glass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The the cam link that I used got stressed out. It couldn't take it. Frozen and not the movie. <laughs> You know, I just watched Shrek on Friday for the first time. Silly movie. <laughs> We're starting to go through like some old Pixar movies and stuff. I, know, I think that's a different company, but stuff like that. We watched like, cause my, uh, my nine month old son, he's, he's, appreciates like bigger faces and like music and stuff so we've been watching some of those movies on uh on saturday night it's been pretty great so we just watched shrek he was he was partially interested but i just realized before i never saw shrek <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? We're coming into the home stretch here.
I think I got a lot of practice with this gun so far, though. This is an interesting training back window for for this heat gun, I tell you. Oh, it's just right here. I just don't want to overheat that. This right in here, everywhere else is like a go. Just like with that blast, just mm, press it down just a little too soon, it's done. So, <laughs> it's going. Yep, right there, see that? Right on the edge. We just pressed it down too fast, but it's right over the edge. So I wanna do that right there. And I'm just so done with this back window. Heat it up, get that edge, and then knock it into the boop. I'd say that's a, uh, that took a few seconds. <laughs> uh, shrunk. We got it. That's it. It's all, it's all good. Bang.